He sets off now the lap record holder from 2005, 19 minutes and 30 seconds, 116 miles an hour, in search of TT win number 12 as they reach the top of Bray Hill now. Here's Molly going down the hill into Argo's Leap, and as we've just seen, there's virtually no suspension worth speaking of. Molyneux running uphill out of Union Mills, flat behind the bubble now. 60% of this lap is full throttle for a sidecar outfit. They hardly let go of it at all. Molly coming towards Bala Crane, and that is Crow right behind him. You look how wide a sidecar unit is, how difficult it is to pass. You really need a much faster machine, or you need the cooperation of the man in front. And as they come up towards Handley's, I wonder if Molly really wants to be overtaken. I doubt it very much. But it's going to happen, and there it is, he moves aside. As Molly comes through Solby, he was in third place. It was Crow, Holden and Molly. Molly out of May Hill on his way up towards the hairpin, 24 miles into his opening lap. Dave Molyneux on the mountain. Looks like he's going down the mountain, actually, but he is actually going up quite steeply here. He's coming down towards Brandish here, and uh, he's about two seconds behind Norbury now, so the gap has grown again. Here comes Molly, lap one, 16 and 48 at 117 miles an hour, nowhere near his lap record time, so he's well into this next lap. But it's Molly that's getting quicker here. He's on Solby now, this is lap three of three. He was P1 at the Laff Bridge, but he probably doesn't know that. The gap was only one second, as he turns left, there's bound to be a board here telling him that he is P1, or he was P1 at the laugh, but the gap was just one second. We're heading towards a thrilling grandstand finish as Molly begins the run. That was the corner that you really need to be careful of. And now Tower bends the gooseneck and the mountain for the final time. Win number 12 is in sight, but John Holden still could take it away from him. Three seconds, the gap at Ramsey from John Holden. And Molly's been quick over the mountain on the previous two laps, so this could well be enough. But with just three seconds in it at Ramsey, this might change for Dave Molyneux. The Craig, as he turns right, fast downhill, flat all the way through the new reprofile Brandish. And for the final time, Dave Molyneux turns right at signpost. Dave Molyneux, it seems, has been riding harder. This is going to be nail-biting stuff because Dave Molyneux's going to have to wait for John Holden to arrive before he finds out whether he has one TT number 12. The chequered flag has dropped, but it isn't over. A handshake for the duo in number one, but what of the duo in number seven?